SoulC NFT tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about SoulC and how you can use it as a complete beginner and how you can use it to sell and mint your NFTs. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So this is the website right here, soulc.io. Now I'm sure you're wondering what is SoulC. Now SoulC is an open NFT marketplace that is based on Solana. It's trying to overtake open seas right now. Um, and you're wondering why that is because right now open seas is a total mess the gas wars are out of control the you know gas prices and the overall ethereum network like it's become a major hub but because it's a major hub it's becoming really really hard to mint nfts and buy nfts now imagine if you're like the 99th person like really really last right you're at the bottom of the list and you've paid quite a lot of money to buy a certain nft from a certain project now what happens is that someone else comes along and he pays a little bit more money for the gas fee and gets a higher priority and so he's on the list and you're not and so all of your money has gone to waste so it's completely a mess right now as good as open sea is but it's totally you know overburdened i would say and soul c plans to overtake that it'll it's trying to become open seas and you know how change the whole game and right now solana is doing pretty good like if we go over here like if we search for soul to dollar right so over here so right now the current price is 227 so over here as you can see right now so this is the right price so right now the soul is worth 227 dollars right now which is quite a lot so as you can see it's doing pretty well so that's why soul c is pretty popping right now it's really good so let's just go ahead and do it so overall the interface is very similar you have the explore over here you have the create nft and collection over here same as open seas you have stats as well which is a new feature so let's go ahead and check that out so in stats you basically get your you know statistics of different uh creators and stuff like that it's pretty simple it's really good so over here if you look at scroll down below we have the latest listings over here and these are some of the latest listings and these are some of the latest sales so this one was sold for 0.04 so this one was sold for one soul meaning 200 dollars and i think that currently the popular nfts are right here as you can see over here um neko baffle bears uh what is this hot bunnies we have rare elf soul and then we have soul chan like we have quite a lot of different nfts over here and we can create and sell our nfts in these three steps we have to connect our wallet we have to create a collection and then we have to mint our nfts and that is pretty simple now to mint an nft you have to have some sort of a currency in your cryptocurrency wallet like if you have to have some amount of solana within your cryptocurrency wallet that is the only way that you're be able to you know finally mint your nft and that it can be sold on the solana network so let's go ahead and do that so first what we need to do is we need to connect our wallet so simply connect your wallet and you have three options in front of you you have phantom you have solar and you have solet simply choose phantom over here and if you already have a phantom extension installed on your chrome and you've created an account this pop-up will come over here and all you have to do is just simply enter in your password so i'm going to go ahead and do that click on unlock and once we've done that we've connected our wallet now another way was that we can use other methods as well but for now i think that's pretty good so now let's go ahead and click on create and we can go ahead and start minting our nft but before they do that let's take a look at over here as you can see ultra low cost and multi-currency support so soul c allows minting listing and transactions at ultra low fees in soul usdc and usdt which is pretty good we have a risk calculator and score for verified creators so we have soul c calculates rarity rank scores and trade statistics for every fully minted verified collection which is pretty good and public and private nft listing as well so soul allows creator to make their listed nfts on sale visible to public or only private as well which is pretty nice actually so now that we know a little bit more about you know soul c let's go ahead and start creating our nft so once we click on create we have a couple of different options over here so we have three types of options that we can 
upload so we have the upload static preview we have the animated preview and then we have the artwork file itself so what that basically means is that we need to upload two files if we have a single one but if we have an animated one we can upload three all three of them so over here at the top what we need to do is we need to just simply enter in our nft and then down below if we have an animated version of the nft we can go ahead and upload that as well but if we don't have one we can skip that we don't need to upload it and then just simply click on the upload nft the art file itself and that's basically it and after that what we need to do is we need to enter in the title a short description and then a brief description about the nft like basically you know providing what it is like when it was made and why did you made it like stuff like that anything that you want just to you know explain what it is and then you have royalties from secondary sales as well you can add some more royalties as well and then we can add an external link as well basically what is an external link it's basically a website or a twitter profile where you can add your images basically if you have a twitter profile where you upload all of your images and you know you're a creator of an nft then you can go ahead and connect that as well or you can just simply connect your website where you keep all of your other artworks as well so that people can view your forms of artwork and then they can know that you're a legit creator if you're not you can leave it blank then you have tags licenses and collections as well license is pretty cool i'll get to it in a minute and then you have traits as well basically what that base traits are is basically special editions of your nft like if you remember the ape nfts like they had like special edition ones one with the blue hair or green hair red background eye patch and a cigarette and stuff like that like if you have a special version of your nft you can go ahead and add those traits as well if not you can leave them blank for now so let's go ahead and add a couple of these descriptions so in the title i'm just gonna write beanie man like i, I wrote that as well like in the previous videos as well then you can write i am beanie man i'm just writing this so you guys can understand a little bit about it. it you don't really have to you know do it but it's pretty simple like you can add description and short description about anything and then royalty fees i'm just basically gonna go with like five all right and then external link if you have one if not it's totally fine you can add some tags like you know if it's a trading card or a sound effect or a drawing or sculpture 3d photography whatever like image okay like add those tags and stuff like that and then we have licenses basically we have a couple of different options so we have private use non-commercial exploitation what that means is that whenever someone buys this nft it will be a private nft you can't use it commercially and then you have personal public display slash non-commercial exploitation what that basically means is that you can use it as a profile picture but not for commercial usage and then you have public display basically you can use it for public display basically you can use it for a business profile picture or you know a group of profile pictures like stuff like that but you can't use it commercially and then down below you have reproduction slash commercial exploitations meaning you can use this nft for reproduction as and commercial use as well so whichever one you want i think that mine falls into personal public uh, display and that's basically it and after that you can add it to a collection and add some traits as i said before then after that all you have to do is mint the nft if you have some sort of solana in your uh phantom wallet then your transaction will go through so right now it's asking you for 0 0.00001 solana so then if i have that kind of solana that kind of money in my wallet then i could click on approve and i'll be minted but since i don't have one i guess i have to end the video right here that is it for this video guys like it's pretty simple like if you had solana like if you click on mint it would have been done your nft would have been created and ready to be sold since i don't have one i can't but basically you get the gist of it everything i told you is right okay if you follow these steps here you'll be able to mint your nft and that is basically it so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye